getting out of bed today. I keep waking up from the previous night. Hey everybody, for the past uh, few months I've been using the Bosto 22U Mini for all my art stuff and drawing needs and um, it's basically a Wacom Cintiq alternative um, if you could even call it that, Wacom kind of striking out all the time now but anyways, um, everything's been fine, line quality, you know, everything that I talked about in the review on this channel is okay um, but recently in a forum post I saw there was a way that you can actually use Wacom Cintiq drivers with the Bosto U Mini. And the reason you'd want to do that is because as, as decent as the Bosto drivers are, you know, people, programmers develop specifically for Wacom APIs and, and things like that. So um, I guess the word is more standardization you're looking for. You're going to be able to probably um, use it with you know a, a wider array of programs you know if you're having issues with the Bosto drivers and, and that kind of thing so um, basically wanted to try this out and initially it was wasn't hard to do but you know it wasn't very clear to me you know how it would work what order you would install everything so I figured I'd make a quick little video about it um, first of all everything you need here um, I put up on a Google Drive and I'll link below so you're just gonna grab this entire folder and download it to your desktop or something like that and then what you see is basically everything you need here the utility is this firmware update.exe okay and this is really simple you know even if your Bosto drivers are obviously still gonna be installed because it can't talk to the tablet unless the USB is connected and it has communication so you're not gonna really do anything um, you can install the Wacom drivers beforehand. I didn't really see any kind of issue either way, but either way it's going to work. So what you're going to do is you're going to browse to the one of two firmwares. One is this weird file name right here. Okay, that's going to be your um, your Wacom firmware. We'll call it that. Okay, and what's going to happen is you're going to hit this switch to boot, and then you're going to hear the, the tablet disconnect for a second and then you're gonna hit the right button I'm not gonna do that now because I've already done it um, and again if you want to back out you could either close the window or switch to app and now it's gonna be back um, and then that's it you know what I did after that is I removed the Bosto drivers I gave it a reboot and then I installed the Cintiq drivers after that and the nice part about it is I tried this once before and whatever I did wrong the the Basta was coming up as an older model Cintiq, so I was only getting like 512 levels of pressure, I want to say, and it just, I don't know, I could feel the difference and it wasn't good, but when I read that forum post, um, you know, you can see here it's coming up as the actual newest 22-inch model from, from Wacom with full pressure sensitivity and everything, so um, the forum poster also let me know if you go into the options here and you... Uh, you knock out this uh, compatibility mode or whatever that that could also prevent you from getting full levels of pressure I don't know if that was the case but you know since uh, he gave me the tip I thought I'd pass it on um, but anyway one of the things you could see too is that I am using the express remote so only having one set of drivers which are Wacom native allows me to run this with my Bosto tablet I was able to run it before I'm planning to do a separate review video about this, but um, I was able to do that without changing the firmware. Uh, but once in a while, the, the pressure would get a little weird if the drivers would start to collide. But overall, it was okay. But this is just much cleaner using the Wacom native drivers. I can use the hardware. I don't notice any different levels of pressure. And I'm able to go into a program like manga studio and and switch between WinTab and tablet pc whenever i want to um and also if you have to go back to the Bosto Bosto uh firmware you can do that it's the same process you're going to go back here you're going to pull the Bosto firmware hit switch to boot the right button is going to light up and you're going to write it uh i would advise against switching back and forth a lot you really don't want to be writing firmware to any kind of hardware device on a regular basis um, you know because you might hose the thing and that's it and because this is not really a supported 
configuration, if you hose your tablet, you're not going to be able to call Bosto or Wacom or something like that and start complaining about some hack firmware you put on there. So, you know, buyer beware. Obviously, there's always some risk when, you know, you're modding things, even at the firmware level. Um, but anyway, I thought it was uh, was good for me. It's working out so far. And, um, you know, the people over at the Bosto.co forums, you know, that's where I read about this. And I'll be posting this over there. Let them know, you know, that everything's working okay. And uh, thanks, everybody, for viewing.